Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on automation with another go at some of the scenarios. Uh, there was a mix between people wanting to see me do some scenarios and messing about with some silly stuff in Sandbox. I came up with a solution. We're going to do a scenario that is build a 1,200 horsepower supercar because that sounds quite interesting. Uh, we have our requirements down here. Power more than 1,200. Economy better than 15.7 miles to the gallon. We've got to have reliability up, safety, prestige, and so on. And then we've got some more stats over here. So we've got to have a car that can got to go more than 211 miles an hour, which I would hope it would with this much power. It's got to cost less than $55,000 to make. And then we've got standard kilometer times and sportiness, drivability, and so on. It's the economy and the power that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the interesting ones. A uh, little bit of a challenge on here. I'm going to give it. I'm uh, going to give it a go. Now we get a choice of two bodies for the car. We can have this one that is very much supercar-esque. Reminds me uh, quite a lot of the McLaren MP4. Uh, yeah, from certainly from some angles, it really does look very, <laughs> very close to it. And then we can uh, we can adjust it and, and tinker with the body. Uh, oh, we can give <laughs> we can give it some. Very <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe we just go back to stand. There we go. Uh, me tinkering with it will probably ruin everything, basically. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah, yes. I much I actually prefer having that down there a little bit. There we go. And then we can have the, the <laughs> we, can, we can give it the Megan rear bumper or the normal rear bumper. There we go. Now it looks like a Ferrari from some angles as well. Um, yeah, we can have the, this one, or we can have a sort of a more Grand Tourery style. I could I can imagine this turning into a a Ferrari 575 sort of thing with the right light placements and so on. Uh, <laughs> you can give it a very weird sort of front bumper and and so on and so forth. I thought you can make it longer. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the supercar though. I'm gonna go with the supercar body. I'm not sure I like the sort of the wing bits at the back. I'm just gonna lower that down a little bit. There we go. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do me. Uh, so we're going to go for a, a supercar. Now, this is going to... Well, I say a supercar, this is going to be a hypercar. This is going to be ridiculously fast and so on. And uh, we have got a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on all of the best bits for now. If we get to the stage where we spent too much money, I can then come back and maybe slightly go back on some of these. But, uh, I mean, when building a hypercar, you would expect carbon fibre chassis and carbon fibre body. Uh, for a modern 2010, that's the era that this car's being made in, you would expect... Uh, all of that. Now it comes to the uh, it comes to the fittings. Now the headlights and so on. I mean these aren't massively uh, <laughs> aren't massively important. To, uh, I'm just tinkering around with these. Um, sure, that they're, they're fine. It'll do. Uh, however, we've really got to take into consideration the cooling. Cooling is going to be a big thing with this car. I did mess about with this earlier um, and I was very confused as to why my reliability wasn't working and the reason was is that cooling, I didn't have enough cooling in it which meant the engine didn't work. So grills and so on, they're going to be very very significant uh, for this. Now we're going to have uh, actually, wait, we're going to have vents at the corners, I'm thinking, because I try to have a grill going across the front of the entire car looks a bit weird. So if we have sort of like vents on these corners, yeah, and then we're going to have a grill, uh, one of these, sure, uh, across here, we can have a, it looks like a happy supercar, this one. <laughs> Give it lots of cooling, we're going to need a lot of it. Look, it's smiling. <laughs> I quite like that. Uh, bonnets. Oh, this one here offers the most cooling, I think. Um, I don't really like it, though. No, screw that. We're not going to have that there. We're going to come around to the back. Well, this is a mid-engine car. I believe it's a mid-engine car. So we can have some vents on the rear. These ones, I'm thinking. Uh, we can have vents ooh, uh, on the rear of the car. There we go. Sort of on the back bit. And... We, I kind of want some more, some more grills. Well, it looks stupid having, uh, oh no, wait, that's not what I wanted at all. That's, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, well, it looked totally stupid having one here, but I'm guessing since the engine is actually in the back there, you can kind of get away with uh, without having these, there we go, we'll have that on there. Then maybe even we can do a similar thing sort of down here with vents in the corner. So what you could do is you could have, can you put exhausts in these? I don't know. Oh, you can. Ah, I see. 
quite like that. <laughs> quite like that it lets you do that. Okay, exhaust in the corner, not quite there, maybe. Uh, hmm. Just, you got to get the position, the placement right. There we go. Oh, bugger it. It'll do. <laughs> and can we have another, again, another one, another grill sort of down here? Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. That will do. Now, I'm hoping that this should give me plenty of cooling total 516. We'll have to come back and have a look. Uh, we may have to... Oh, actually, wait. We could have another... Where was it? Ah, yes. We can have this funky-shaped thing. Here, can we rotate it, or are we going to be stuck with having it like that on the boot? <laughs> I can't move any further forwards. No, we will uh, We will come back, and if we need more cooling, then we will add... I think we've got plenty. Wing! Yes, we can have a huge wing on the back. It's a supercar. It's allowed to have a ludicrous wing. There we go. <laughs> it's a requirement for me building cars. So certainly if it's a supercar, we have to have a silly wing on the back. Handles. Shall we go for a little tiny door handle? There we go. On our car, bonnet, exhaust, done. Lips, no, we're not going to bother. Badges, yes. We will stick on the little griffin thing on the front and on the back. Right. Supercar. It's looking... I'd say it's looking pretty ready to go. Oh, of course, we're going to make it orange. That is another mandatory thing with uh, <laughs> a fail race car. It's got to be orange. Right, we're going to... Now, do we go for four-wheel drive and go for the Veyron approach, or do we go for rear-wheel drive and go for the Venom approach? I'm thinking we go for the Venom approach. Make it rear-wheel drive. I'm assuming this is going to have a negative impact on drivability, but bugger it. Uh, <laughs> we're going for it, because I want a rear-wheel drive hypercar. Right, time to build a new engine. Now, we need to get a lot of power out of this one. We're going for a V8. And again, as I said, because we've got quite a big budget, we're going to go for the maximum of everything here for now and if need be we can come back and change it i will come back to this in a minute because as you can see the arrows here uh, for fitting the engine in the car once we stick on the turbos it's going to make the engine a lot wider so i'll come back and change this as we need to the other thing uh, we've got to consider pistons there's a couple of options uh, for pistons uh, the forged ones have high rpm very high torque lightweight forged ones have very high rpm but on the sort of on the average side of torque now i'm going because we're going to be having a very powerful engine here i'm going for the forged ones uh, because it's the slightly better option of the two uh, but it's still uh, <laughs> the rpm is still a small issue uh, with this uh, i'll come back to do all of this stuff here once we have uh, the turbos here we go twin turbos huge intercooler we will have them at a race preset we will again come back and adjust that now you see this thing here is now gone yellow because we're starting to uh, get close to the limits of what we can do to fit in our car uh, we should be able to uh, increase the size up here and then if we just shoot that up there um at eight and a half liter i would be very surprised if that oh, i probably haven't put the exhausts on um, <laughs> yeah we'll stick all this stuff on and then it'll tell me that something's over something's oversized uh we're gonna i'm gonna have it on super for fuel type i mean this is still gonna be a road car uh, i'm not sure i don't think you can get a hundred uh, in England, I don't think I think sort of Shell V Power and BP Ultimate. I think that's all ninety eight. I don't think I have, don't remember seeing a hundred. You may do, but I'm going to go with Super uh, on this uh, exhaust. Not a huge amount of options because we've got the turbos on. Again, being a road car, I will put on this stuff down here, and then uh, the engine. Oh, I mean, it's going to break. Of course, it's going to break uh, <laughs> on this first one. Oh, exhaust needs to be a hell of a lot bigger. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be putting out about 1,000, we're going to be putting out plus uh, 1,200 horsepower, so I'll put the exhaust around that side. And now comes to the tinkering of little fi things. Little things? Little things. There we go. Now, first thing you'll notice, RPM limit on this engine is woeful. I have to have it down by around the 5,000... 300 mark although we will come back to that a little bit uh, in a little bit i'm not quite sure why the why this engine i mean i've had a lot smaller engines i guess it's perhaps something to do with it being a huge engine i've had much smaller engines revving a lot higher i can never seem to figure out why this one here uh won't uh right now compression let's get uh, let's sort out the uh, the compression on here we are uh, <laughs> there we go 946 horsepower turbos are very very unhappy uh, oh, there we go. Why did I was on custom? Did I change that by accident? Never mind. Tur oh, everything's happy again. Ah, oh, look at that. Everything's perfect. Now, fuel mixture. Because we've got to keep a certain amount of economy here, we can't go too ridiculous on the fuel mixture. We can probably have it somewhere in the around here-ish region and still have the uh, still have the economy to do 
what we want to uh, to be doing with the car. We're actually getting quite close just from the off here, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, <laughs> then it's just a case of balance everything around down here to get, there we go, we're into the 1,200 horsepower mark. 1,240 horsepower. Now, yes, you can get more power from this engine. I have absolutely no doubt, but I don't want to sit forever uh, fiddling around with the <laughs> with the sliders. It's not the most exciting gameplay. So there we go. That is my engine. I'm hoping that will give us enough economy. That's the big concern with this. Uh, start the engine... Uh, oh, wait, we're too big. As expected. I don't know what's changed. The engine, yeah, the engine is too big. Uh, reliability is okay, which is good. We will just have to make the engine slightly smaller. There we go. 7, uh, 7.1. Can we make it any bigger? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to sort of slightly change things again. 7.5. There we go. I'm I'm not sure what I, what I added to it that made it... Oh, 7.8 litre, that'll do. Uh, <laughs> now, what's uh, what's up? Okay, now I've got to... Oh, no, God, God damn it, I knew it was too easy. I knew it was too... Oh, there we go. But <laughs> it was too good to be true. Uh, sure, I'm I'm happy with 1,212 horsepower. Can we get any more? Any more? Oh, I did see slightly more. There we go. Uh, exhaust, uh, how are we doing? If we... I think I said the exhaust is looking slightly yellow on the... Ah, we've got a, tur a small turbo problem over here. Uh, da, 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 da. We, we want to increase that. Ah, right, now <laughs> now comes the fun and games of uh, <laughs> making sure everything... Oh, we've got to get another 20 horsepower. Pissing thing. Uh, ignition timing, can we get that any happier? Ah, it's always the way. Just when you think you're sorted, then you've got to go and change stuff around. Now, well, I think that may be, uh, we may be pushing it on economy right now uh, <laughs> with that one. Compression, well, there we go. Uh, cams, sure, that'll do. Right, is that better now? Engine fits, reliability, only 48.4, and I'm not sure what's unreliable on it. Hmm. Well, we're going to carry on anyway, regardless. We'll come back to it if, if things need changing. Whoopsie. Uh, gearbox sequential. We'll go for a double clutch gearbox. So we'll go for seven gears since we're going to be a high speed uh, hypercar, 248 miles an hour top speed. Uh, we need some drivability, yes, and sportiness and so on. We'll go for an electric uh, limited slip diff. Tires. Now, this is a bit of a funny one. A semi slicks, you would assume, would be the best tires for a hypercar. I mean, certainly around a track in dry conditions, slicks are going to give you the most grip. Uh, but as you can see here, drivability is low. Now, I'm assuming that's referring to the fact that, you know, this being a road car, it'll sometimes be wet on the roads. I guess? I mean, it's like, then you go down here, sports tyres, drivability average, medium compound, drivability very high? I don't, don't know. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> we do need to pass a certain amount of drivability, so I'm going to stick it on sport tyres for now. Carbon fibre wheels, again, just make the damn thing as light as possible. Uh, we will come back to tyre widths and so on. Brakes, for now, we're going to go for a carbon ceramic discs. Uh, we'll put the size up, race pads up. Uh, this is all for helping with drivability. Uh, downforce, yes. We're gonna have we're gonna have some active aero and some cooling flaps, and sure, uh, <laughs> we'll have all of that. Seats too, sports, and this is just some um, some random crap in here. Uh, assists, we're probably gonna want all of that stuff for now. I think that all increases drivability, and then active suspension. We're gonna want is again. I'm just going for all of the sporty stuff. We have sports on the sp suspension front, and da da. There we go. Economy. Oh, we're point one. <laughs> <laughs> Point 0.1 of a mile a gallon off. Now, my reliability is still at zero. Now, I'm thinking I don't have enough cooling then. I think there is somewhere to... Oh, yeah, if we go in engine, uh, it should say cooling requ required cooling, 1,300. I think I only had about 500. we got to get a lot more vents on the car, <laughs> basically. Uh, we got to get a hell of a lot more vents. Now, reliability was a little bit down. There is an easy way to perhaps change this. You see here, we've got the quality sliders. The higher the quality, the the better the parts. So the more power, certainly with if you're doing it with these bottom end parts, if we whack the quality up, I can now whack the RPM limit up a little bit more. I thought I could. Maybe I can't. Okay, no, that's just engine knock. Okay, uh, that's still failing because of engine knock. It's not failing because it's reached. There we go. We can now whack it up to about 5,800 RPM instead of 5,200. Okay, we've got to have a slight readjustment over here now uh, with the thing. Look at the power we're getting from it. <laughs> uh, but, of course, increasing the quality like that 
uh, has now made this engine a lot more expensive to produce. You've got to be, you've got to find the balance again between uh, making making power and uh, having enough, having having the having the money. That now makes the turbo happy. Uh, there we go. Turbo is happy. Uh, reliability is up to 54.3. Fantastic, a lot more power. Engine is now a lot more expensive though. It's like fourteen thousand dollars instead of I think it's around six or seven thousand. I don't know. Uh, but now we've got a lot more a lot more power out of the engine. Uh, we did need. To, <laughs> I went to sort out economy, and we've suddenly got another hundred horsepower. We need to stick this down a little bit. As much as I don't want to, we do need to stick it down a little bit. Now that sh I'm hoping that has got us the uh, maybe. Uh, economy. Oh, look at that! It's positively fantastic! 19.2! Uh, <laughs> uh, that's... Actually, that's not bad. For a hypercar that has... Oh, uh, we are slightly over budget. We'll have to come back to that. For a hypercar with uh, this much power, 19.2 bars a gallon is not too shabby. Uh, cooling. Cooling is a big thing that we apparently do not have anywhere near enough of. So we can go back and sort that out. Oh, drivability, sportiness, and so on. Easy solution to this. Took me a while to figure out why on earth it was unhappy with all of that stuff. Tire widths. It starts off with 185 tires, and 1300 horsepower through them is not going to work. So you whack the tire widths up to be massive. And apparently that's that's gone too far now. Drive it, wait, go back, go back. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, having these. I swear I saw two of them. There we go. For some reason, having that small tires at the front, it gives us better drivability. Um. I don't know why we're... What are we unhappy with? I've probably forgotten something somewhere with the uh, with the gearbox. Standing kilometre less than 20. I'm not sure what I've... 272 miles an hour, though. That's impressive. If we go... Is it actually... No, we're going to hit 246. Uh, 0-60 apparently is 10 seconds, which suggests I've bullsed something up. So I think the gear ratio is too long. Uh, let's, let's whack the gears down again. Uh, oh, there we go, 243, um, there we go, sorted it, <laughs> yes, we will sort it by having less gears, fantastic, and now can we get it to, I think maybe we were, yeah, they overgeared it or something, 261 miles an hour, that's more like it, 0-63.3, yeah, gear ratio is washonky, now, reliability, we need to go and sort reliability out, which means we need more vents, we need a lot more vents on this car, <laughs> Uh, here we go. Oh, wrong one again. Vents. How were we doing? Or grills, or any anything that can get air into the car, we need. Uh, cooling. Uh, yeah, total cooling is only at 700. Uh, <laughs> yes, we should give it guns on the side. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, maybe this vent here is a little bit too long. Uh, oh, no. Crap, that's not what I wanted. I want the arrow. There we go. Uh, does it look stupid? Yes. Is it required? Very definitely. <laughs> that kind of looks like it has a moustache. I don't like that at all. Um, vents. Shall we stick some vents on the f on the bonnet? Yeah, we can actually just to come up here. Uh, again, we we need we need an awful lot more. <laughs> Gee, these cars require so much cooling. I mean, I'm not surprised. It is a hypercar and so on. We can have them there. Uh, bonnets. I don't really want the bonnet here, but it's kind of required. Uh, again, it's not really offering as much cooling as I was kind of hoping slash expecting from it. We're still only at 500. What do we need? Do we need very, very big, very, very big vents around here? Like something like here and go, whoop. Let's see. Ah, I think the ones on the back are just visual. So it's only going to be, which is going to make sense, uh, let's be honest. That's a slight issue for a supercar. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it looks really super stupid, but it is, this is a hundred percent required. Uh, <laughs> get bigger, get much bigger cooling things on the side. Yeah, <laughs> it looks ludicrous, and I love it. Uh, can I get away with having sort of vents on the back arches, sort of up here? Are you going to? Aha! Uh -huh, you are going to add. Cooling. I think that may actually. We're gonna have huge vents. <laughs> no, that's a little bit too big. Um, it is gonna add uh, up to one thousand. Uh, these these ones here are very bloody effective on the on the back on the back quarter. I'm not sure I quite like them. I'm sure there's a someone with much better skills at placing stuff and making it look good. Uh, 
could do better than me. But the fact that um, we now have a car that will have enough cooling is uh, good enough for me. <laughs> uh, I love it. Um, yeah, it'll do. 1,300, I think that now gives us enough cooling for the engine. So now we go uh, trim, reliability. Ha-ha! <laughs> We're up to 61 reliability. Top speed has gone down to hell again. Why have I, oh, probably because I've now got more drag on the car. Okay, if we don't overgear the damn thing then, are we going to be happier? There we go. Uh, <laughs> not going to be the fastest bloody supercar, but bugger it, it will do. Uh, tires, I'm still not sure why. I kind of want more, oh, I want more sensible tires on the front. Okay, now, oh, now that's, now that's put the drivability up. I don't, I'm not quite sure on that one. Um, <laughs> now we've just got cost. Now we're just down to uh, cost of the car. How much are we over by, though? That is the question. We've got to find 1,700-ish. We've got to take off this ridiculous-looking monstrosity. <laughs> uh, right. How is, it, how is a nice, quick way of doing things? Now, we could get rid of... So it's so all the active aero bits, but I think that's going to take off the uh, drivability front. We can get to... Uh, we don't need premium sat-nav. You're a hypercar. Basic CD. Why is that putting the drivability down? The CD does not have any effect on the drivability. At all. I mean, it makes it slightly lighter. Surely that would make drivability go up. It's, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Shall we take off some of these things? Are these things... I uh, don't know how much they add. Apparently not enough uh, to change any of that. So we have to have standard CD, otherwise the car is undrivable. Apparently. Uh, safety. Well, technically we don't... Ne oh, well, let's put the drivability down again as well. We're right on the limit with the... Yeah, we are actually right on the limit of drivability. Hmm. we got to find $1,000 that we can get out of this car. Um, now what I could do is uh, how much does it, it doesn't say how much this stuff costs does it I mean, we could go for something like this i don't know if that has uh oh there we go ah <laughs> we've got the cost down but the prestige is down as well prestige is oh that's really shot the cost down massively shot the cost down but prestige is now at 53 ah i know what we could do simple fix Simple, simple, simple fix. Somewhere in here. Where, where's it gone? Uh, this one. So if we now have a sort of premium, we can go. Uh, maybe we can't go that. Oh, we could go that. We could go that crazy. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Completed it. Um, there we go. We'll go for luxury information. Inf infotainment. There we go. I can speak English. Uh, <laughs> the hypercar is complete. Uh, it's not quite perfect. But, uh, in fact, it's a chassis at the moment. Never mind. Uh, test track. Top speed, 220 miles an hour, not to 63.2 seconds. It has some 1,300 horsepower. It's a silly, silly contraption. It's got so much aero and cooling, it looks ridiculous. But it bloody works. It doesn't fall apart instantly. Uh, <laughs> it, it works. It does what I need it to do. Uh, I, I'm... I'm, I'm too unhappy with that front bumper. I'm sorry, we've got to change that front bumper. That, that, that front grill. <laughs> no, we've got to make that a lot smaller and we will have to find another way of adding that cooling on. Because uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, can we... I'm going to go for another side grill bit, side vent bit up here. Sure, because that's where we need... That seems. This seems to be quite an effective place for having the cooling uh, at the back of the car. Uh, <laughs> just have all of the grills on the back on sort of the back corner around here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, wait, we want to have it slightly smaller that way, I think. Uh, there we go. Stop making a hole in the side of the car. Uh, there's no... Uh, I'm sure there is good ways of doing it. There's no good ways that I can come up with. Either way, the car has got cooling. I'm not even, I don't even like that. That's rubbish as well. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to have huge... Smiley face, huge, uh, wait, that's probably a bit too huge, there we go, sure. Uh, <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but it does exactly what I want it to do. It passes all of the, I probably, now I fiddle with that, I'm probably bugging it. No, no, it still passes all of the tests, so that's what we want. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that is it for uh, this video, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. 
And until next time, uh, goodbye.